Hi, my name is Megan Jackson and I am currently the Early Childhood Strategies teacher at Westergaard Elementary. I have been in this position for nine years and my experience with children really started much earlier than that. My dad is a recreational therapist at Willow Springs Psychiatric Hospital and he works with children ages 5 to 18 who are suffering from mental illness or who are suffering a mental crisis. And my mom is the director of the Child Development Center at St. Albert's and she obviously works with children from six weeks old all the way through when they're ready to go into the school system. So from a young age, I was immersed um, and really exposed to loving and caring for all children, even those with unique needs. I had many typical experiences as a teenager babysitting um, and then in my family we have tons of children who are close to us and so I was able to watch my younger brother and many younger cousins but my journey really began when my friend told me about this position at Sarah Winnemucca Elementary School. I was 18 years old fresh out of high school and I was getting my undergraduate degree at the University of Nevada in elementary education and special education. Uh, the position was at Sarah Winnemucca Elementary School and it was in the Early Childhood Strategies program um, and it was just as an aide under the direction of Susan Frank and Wayne Maloney. The day I accepted that position would be a day that impacted the rest of my life and professional career. Susan and Wayne were huge advocates for early intervention and I spent the next four years learning under their direction on how to include children in these meaningful experiences through using the circles of communication and natural methods, which was rather uncommon in an early childhood strategies classroom. After the first year, I knew that I would be attending school again to then get my degree in early childhood education. I spent the next nine years making the classroom my own and evolving my practice in order to make the biggest influence possible at this age level. I can't imagine life not in an early childhood classroom. There's so many reasons that I want to continue to teach at this age. And the first is just being witness to the amount of growth that we see in each child. I think um, being their first experience in the classroom, everything is fun and exciting and they just absorb so much information. I've been a personal witness to so many families and I'm still friends with those families today. And the progress that they see um, is attributed to the foundations that they received in the early childhood classroom. And that motivates me to continue to want to make the same foundational platform for all of my students. There's a big need for early childhood educators and especially early childhood special educators. I've had so many of my students be kicked out of daycares and preschools because they don't fit those typical behaviors that people are expecting to see. And I wanna use this as a platform to educate and to advocate for all students, no matter what their behaviors or needs are. I want students to be able to be accepted in any environment. Another thing that keeps me coming back is the challenge. I think a lot of the times when we get kids um, in our classrooms, it's new and we see a lot of behavior and I think um, for me, being able to overcome that and see what's on the other side, it's, it is a challenge, but it helps my brain to continue working and to continue learning as a teacher. And I think overall, that's our goal is to be a lifelong learner. And that keeps me coming back for sure. My relationship with families is another reason that I continue to want to teach. I love showing family the beauty that their child already has. Sometimes it's difficult for them having recently received a diagnosis. Um, so being able to show them, like, look at all of these wonderful things that your child has to offer the world and really opening up their eyes to these unique characteristics, um, I think is very important in this role. Finally, this job just brings me joy. If we look at these students every day, they are hilarious um, and they're brutally honest sometimes. But, you know, people tell you to always do a job that that you love and I come to work every day and it's not a job. We laugh and we smile and we just have fun all day. And I think um, being able to do something I love just makes me wanna to continue to come back each and every day and continue to make the impact that I have.